Hello, this is our lesson. Um, lesson from grade 10 math, which is module 1 po tayo. So, ito yung first quarter po natin. Um, lesson 1, which is sequences. Pag sinabi natin sequences, meron tayong apat. Oh, arithmetic sequence, geometric sequence, Fibonacci sequence, and harmonic sequence. Okay, so video na to, ang pag-aaralan natin is arithmetic sequence. Okay, we find the missing terms. Find the common difference. Ano nga ba yung common difference? And to find the end term of the sequence. Okay, i-define muna natin kung ano ang arithmetic sequence. An arithmetic sequence is a sequence where every term after the first is obtained by the adding constant called the common difference. Okay, again, ang common difference, ito yung ina-add natin every after term. Okay, so observe natin ng patterns. Example number 1, which is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Um, the next term is obtained by adding constant 2. So, yung constant na yun, yun yung tinatawag na common difference. Okay, kung yung observe natin, magsimula tayo sa first term, 2 plus 2 equals 4. 4 plus 2 equals 6. 6 plus 2 equals 8. 8 plus 2 equals 10. Okay, therefore, uh, common difference is 2. Or in symbol, we have this equal to 2. Okay? Um, kung kukunin natin ang common difference, mas madali nating uh, makuha ang common difference kung isosubtract natin yung pumapangalawang term sa naunang term. Okay, let's say for example, magsisimula tayo sa my right side doon sa last term natin. Kung magsusubtract tayo ng 2, so 10 minus 2 equals 8. 8 minus 2 equals 6. 6 minus 2 equals 4. 4 minus 2 equals 2. Okay, pero ang common difference natin, yun yung kinukuha o yun yung ina-add natin na constant number. Ina-add natin. Mula sa left papuntang right or from the first term. Okay, let's have an example number 2. We have the sequence 4, 7, 10, 13, 16, 18. Okay, if you're going to observe the pattern, nag a ng 3. Okay, so therefore, 4 plus 3 is 7, 7 plus 3 is 10, 10 plus 3 is 13, 13 plus 3 is 16, 16 plus 3 is 18. Okay, so yung ina-add natin, yun yung tinatawag natin common difference, which is um, the constant is 3. Or in symbol, we have D equals 3. That is number 2. Then for the number 3, we have 12, 8, 4, 0, negative 4. Okay, kung i-observe natin yung pattern, uh, nagbabawas tayo ng apat. Parang 12 minus 4 is 8 minus 4 is 4 minus 4. 0 minus 4 is negative 4. Or, uh, instead na minus 4 ang gamitin natin, um, gagamit tayo ng plus negative 4. So, 12 plus negative 4 equals 8. 8 plus negative 4 equals 4. 4 plus negative 4 equals 0. 0 plus negative 4 is negative 4. So, yung ina-add natin na negative 4, yun yung constant na ina-add natin. Therefore, yun yung tinatawag natin common difference. Okay? In symbol, we have this equal to negative 4. Okay, kung mapapansin ninyo, kabaliktaran lang nung common difference yung sinusubtract natin sa taas. Again, ang i -re remind ko lang, ang common difference is yung number na ina-add natin. Yung constant number na ina-add natin. Okay, the first example is 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. Okay, para sa akin, mas madali kong makukuha ang common difference kung ima-minus ko yung pangalawang number sa naunang number. Say, for example, yung 6 and 9. 9 minus 6 is 3. Okay. Halimbawa, yung 12 and, uh, 12 and 9. 12 minus 9 is 3. 15 minus 12 is 3. 18 minus 15 is 3. Therefore, um, nag a ng 3. So, 6 plus 3 is 9. 9 plus 3 is 12. 12 plus 3 is 15. 
15 plus 3 is 18. And the next term is 18 plus 3 equals 21. Therefore, the common difference is 3. Okay, good luck. Um, para po sa mga tanong ninyo, para sa mga corrections, clarifications, pwede po kayo mag-comment sa baba. Okay, let's have an activity number 2. We have to find the missing terms in each arithmetic sequence. Um, let's have number 1. So, ibibigay ko na yung sagot sa number 1. Okay. So, the first term is 3 followed by 12, 21. Okay, so ang tanong ngayon, ano ang next term? So, paano natin malalaman kung ano ang next term? Okay, para sa akin, mas madali na ima-minus ko yung pangalawang number sa nauna. O pangalawang term sa naunang term. Say, for example, 12 minus 3 equals 9. 21 minus 12 equals 9. Okay, therefore, mag a tayo ng 9. Okay, so let's try this one. 3 plus 9 equals 12. 12 plus 9 equals 21. 21 plus 9 equals 30. So 30 plus 9 equals 39. And so on. Okay, yan. Kaya kaya mo na yung number 3 hanggang number 8. Good luck. Okay, ang next naman nating pag-aaralan is um, using arithmetic rule. We're going to find the nth term gamit ito. Okay, but before that, kung gusto mo pa ng maraming videos, maraming lessons, ayan, marami pa po akong upload dito. So, just click the like, subscribe, and the bell button below para ma-update ka sa mga uploads ko. Okay, let's continue. Ano nga ba yung arithmetic rule? Ang arithmetic rule, ito po yun. Uh, we have the rule a sub n equals a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times d. Okay, if a sub 1 and d are known. So, again, ang d po natin is common difference. So, it is easy to find any term in an arithmetic sequence by using this. Okay, where a sub n is what we call the nth term. a sub 1 is the first term. N is the number of terms, kung ilan yung terms na nando doon. And D is the common difference. Okay, so let's have an example number 1. Um, the given arithmetic sequence is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Okay, um, yung 2 is A sub 1 or the first term. 4 is A sub 2 or the second term. 6 is the a sub 3 or the third term. 8 is a sub 4 or the fourth term. And 10 is a sub 5 or the fifth term. And so on. Okay? So, in our rule, a sub n equals a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times the d or the common difference. It's Okay, isa-isahin natin kung ano ang a sub n, ano ang a sub 1, ano ang n, at saka ano yung d. Ang a sub n is the n term. Okay, so sa given example natin, ang n term natin is a sub 5. Bakit a sub 5? Kasi ang bilang ng terms natin is 5. Lima lang naman ang term natin. a sub 1 is 2, which is yun yung first term. Ang n is equal to 5. Okay, kasi lima nga yung given um, terms natin. And D is equal to 2. So, yung D natin is the common difference. Yun yung ina-add every after term. And kung titignan natin yung pattern, nag a tayo ng 2. 2 plus 2, 4. Plus 2, 6. Plus 2, 8. Plus 2, 10. Okay, we have the problem number 1. Find the 10th term of an arithmetic sequence 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So, ibig sabihin, ang hahanapin natin is yung pang-sampong term. So, ilan ang term na meron tayo sa given? So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Limang terms ang binigay dito sa sequence natin. Okay. Aalamin natin kung... Um, ano yung pang ika na term dito sa sequence natin. 
Okay, una alamin natin kung ano yung mga a sub n, a sub 1, n and d. So, since ang hinahanap dito is yung pang sampung term o yung n term natin is we have a sub n equals a sub 10 which is yun yung hinahanap, yun yung unknown. And a sub 1 equals 2, yun yung first term. Ang n is 10, bakit 10? Kasi yung bilang na hinahanap natin ay 10, pang 10. Okay, pang 10 term. And d is the common difference. So, again, um, yun yung ina natin every after term. Okay, pag na-identify na natin yung mga yan, isa-substitute natin yung mga value nila. Okay, uh, using the given rule. Okay, so, sandal lang natin yung formula, which is a sub n. Ang a sub n natin is a sub 10. Equals, ang a sub 1 natin is 2. Plus, ang n natin is 10 minus 1 times the common difference, which is 2. Okay, so again, a sub 10 equals 2 plus the quantity of 10 minus 1 times 2. Okay, 10 minus 1 is 9. 9 times 2 equals 18. So, 2 plus 18 equals 20. Therefore, the 10th term is 20 or yung ikasampung term ng sequence is 20. Okay, next, number 2 example. Find the 15th term of the arithmetic sequence 13, 10, 7, 4. Okay, kung i-observe natin yung pattern mula sa left, papuntang right, or mula sa first term, nagmo-minus tayo ng 3. Okay, 13 minus 3 is 10, minus 3 is 7, minus 3 is 4. Or kung iso-subtract natin mula dun sa pangalawang term, papunta sa naunang term, halimbawa yung 10 minus 13, the answer is negative 3. Okay? So, yung negative 3 na yun, yun yung ina natin. Instead na minus or negative, gawin natin 13 plus negative 3. 13 plus negative 3 is 10. 10 plus negative 3 is 7. 7 plus negative 3 is 4. So, yun yung din natin. Yun yung common difference natin. Okay, next, identify natin ano ang a sub n. Ang a sub n natin is a sub 15. Bakit a sub 15? Kasi pang 15 term ang hinahanap. Yung ika 15 na term. Since ang given na term lang is apat. Okay? So, yung a sub 1 natin, yung first term is 13. N is equal to 15. Bakit 15? Kasi yun yung hinahanap natin term. Pang ika 15. And again, the common difference is negative 3. Okay, now this is the solution. Isa-substitute lang natin yung value doon sa given rule or given formula. A sub n natin is A sub 15. Ang A sub 1 is 13 plus the quantity of n, our n is 15 minus 1 times D, so which is ang D natin is negative 3. Okay, so again, ang given equation natin, A sub 15 equals 13 plus the quantity of 15 minus 1 times negative 3. Okay, and it is equal to 13 plus 15 minus 1 is 14. 14 times negative 3 is negative 42. And then 13 plus negative 42, the answer is negative 29. Therefore, the 15th term of the given sequence is negative 29. Okay, now this is your activity number 3. Solve the following. Use the arithmetic rule. Yung, yung formula na... Um, Binigay ko sa inyo kanina, yung a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times the common difference. So, we have three, um, three items to find the n term. So, again, para sa mga tanong, sa clarification, o gusto nyo isend sa akin yung mga sagot ninyo, then okay lang. Okay, um, please um, comment lang po kayo below under the comment sections and don't forget to like subscribe and to click the bell button below para ma-update po kayo sa mga bagong uploads ko at mga lessons pa po na ia-up at mga lessons pa po na uh, ginawa ko
Okay, sana po nakatulong po ito sa inyo. Thank you for watching. Happy self-learning guys!